wash off your hands. Learn to stay away from trouble. Learn to stay away from discouragement. From today going forward, you will be able to wash your hands off on what does not concern you. Brothers and sisters, what I like most in the book of Matthew chapter 27, verse 24 to 25, when uh, Pilate saw that uh, Jesus was innocent, he took water and washed his hands. This is a message there. There is a revelation there. He wanted to be clean on this case of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he washed his hands. There is power in washing of our hands. There is safety in washing of our hands. Even today, when you listen to the radios, when you watch on TV, just because now we are in pandemic time, we need to wash our hands each and every time. Pilate washed his hands. He didn't want to involve himself in that case by washing off his hands. There is power in washing off your hands. Do not involve yourself where you are not supposed to be involved. Do not put yourself in troubles in order to make people happy. But you need to wash off your hands and say, no, this one, I don't want to involve myself. No, on this one, I don't want to put myself in trouble. Yes, you might sound like a stupid person, a bad person, but learn to wash off your hands and say, no, I don't want to involve myself on that case. I don't want to involve myself, even my family, on that case. Learn to wash off your hands. Where are you now? What are you doing today? Are you receiving calls from your friends where you, you find yourself discussing about someone else, discussing about someone who is innocent? Where are you today? Learn to wash off your hands. Learn to stay away from trouble. Learn to stay away from bad people. Learn to stay away from discouragement. Learn to wash off your hands and say, no, I'm not going to involve myself there. Stay blessed in Jesus' mighty name as you learn to wash off your hands. Sanitize your hands in order to stay away from COVID. I still need to understand more about the washing off of our hands. Matthew chapter 27 verse 24 When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood. He said, it is your responsibility. Viewers, we need to learn to wash off our hands in front of the crowd. What is a crowd? Challenges is the crowd. Gossip is the crowd. Unforgiveness is the crowd. Discouragement is the crowd. Worry is the crowd. We need to learn to wash our hands in front of those challenges. Pilate said, I don't see any wrong with this man. And then he washed his hands in front of the crowd. If you don't see anything about what you are gossiping about. You need to learn to wash off your hands in front of the gossip, in front of the challenge. You need to learn to wash off your hands instead of continuing complaining where you can see that there's no need for you to complain. Learn to wash your hands in front of that challenge. You need to learn that washing your hands in front of the challenge where you can see there's no need for you to worry there's no need for you to complain there's no need for you to mama learn to wash your hands then you will be safe 
In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed. Amen. Viewers, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are affected by the situation of today because you failed to wash off your hands. The Bible says Pilate washed off his hands. He didn't want to get himself in trouble of killing Jesus Christ. He washed off himself. And the Bible revealed to us, if you know that you are in a situation that you involved yourself wrongly, repent in the name of Jesus. I pray for salvation upon your life. May the Lord deliver you from failing to wash off your hands. You entered into what did not suit you. I pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. You involved yourself on what did not concern you. May the Lord set you free from it in the name of Jesus. You are in where you are today and you are not supposed to be there. But because you did not wash off your hands, you said, I, I can do it. You said you will afford, but you are not affording. May the Lord set you free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't know how to come out on what you failed to wash your hands off. May the Lord wash you by the blood of Jesus today. May the Lord wash you by the blood of Jesus and set you free from that trouble in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord touch you. May the Lord heal you and set you free in Jesus' mighty name. From today going forward, you will be able to wash your hands off on what does not concern you. You will be able to set yourself free by washing your hands off on what does not suit you, on what does not fit you. In Jesus' name, the devil used what you failed to wash your hands off. I pray that your hands shall be washed today by the blood of Jesus. You are free. Just shout, Amen. Just shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am blessed. From all the curses in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain blessed. God bless you. You must thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed and may the Lord help you to be wise enough to be careful in everything that you do. Remember Rebecca, she thought she's doing the best for her son by manipulating blessings. Blessings are from God. We need blessings from God. We don't need favors from people because blessings from God are permanent and favors from people are temporary and be wise see you next time thank you